welcome to learning monkey i am vikram in this class we'll try to understand one to one relationships in er diagram to database schema so the concept uh, uh, the concepts of converting the relations to er diagram so this is the er diagram that we have obtained and in this er diagram we have already converted this relationship works for relationship in our previous video in our previous videos we have covered this works for relationship and we have also implemented the employee table and also department this is the database schema the uh, the database schema that we have obtained for this relationship and this is the relationship uh, 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 referential integrity relationship and the implementation of this relationship has al already been done in our previous videos if you haven't watched those videos please watch those videos and come back here uh, and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we'll try to understand this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, relationship manages. So this is a one-to-one -one relationship and how this relationship will get converted uh, into the database schema that we will try to understand. So here, here, uh, the, this relationship is established. How this relationship has been established in ER diagram? From the uh, attribute called managers. Whenever an attribute of a relation of an entity type is representing the attribute of another entity type, then that will get converted into a relationship that we have already covered. So, uh, department manager. So, this manager. Uh, uh, this manager attribute has been converted into uh, a relationship managers now in order to bring back this uh, uh, relationship to the uh, relationship into database schema what we have to do we have to convert this relationship into an attribute so a new attribute is getting attribute uh, getting added to the uh, relationship to our relation to our uh, table and the attribute is so what we will do is we will take it as MGR SSN. So what it stands for is Manager SSN. So let's try to. So the relation, the attribute that we have created is MGR SSN. Because uh, the manager is getting identified by using the SSN. If you use names of the managers, then there will be a conflict and we have already discussed that if there exists a relationship between so the, the relationship is existing between department and uh, uh, employee uh, whenever an attribute is referencing an attribute of another uh, uh, table then uh, this uh, the attribute to which it is referencing it should be a primary key we have already discussed so this is our new uh, attribute that has been added and this is referencing where this is referencing this is referencing SSN of employee SSN of employee so there exists a relationship try to get that point okay so now in this diagram we are having an attribute to this relationship so how this attribute has to be uh, how these attributes are to be represented in the database schema so uh, this point is very important to understand so whether this attribute to be uh, used for this uh, relationship or can it be shifted to employee or can it be shifted to department so in what way it has to be done in a one-to-one -one relationship whenever we try to shift the relation the attributes of a relationship what we have to do is it is the best practice to convert this uh, to shift this attribute of a relationship to the full participating full participating uh, entity type full participating entity type means so this start date uh, has to be shifted to the department as an attribute as a column so why we have to do it that we will try to understand we will just now we will try to shift it okay this we will take it as mgr start date means manager start date so it has been shifted to department table why we have to shift that what is the reason behind that that we will try to understand and it is very important to understand so we are converting this relationship manages sorry this relationship manages 
okay now uh, why we have to convert why have why we have to shift this st start date to the department which is having full participation for example for example if we if we try to shift that sh start date uh, to employee what happens for example if if this is the uh, employee table employee table and this is ta department table and these are the values of the these are the uh, rows of the employee table and these are the rows of the department table if we shift if we shift manager start date to this so it is start date another column has been created start date what happens is who is the manager of e1 sorry manager start date right if we shift this manager start date to this uh, table uh, the manager start date uh, who are the managers manager start date ssn is 1 so he is a manager 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 ssn is 3 and manager ssn is 5 so these three are the managers for these three start date is for example it is july 1st july 1st and it is uh, december 2nd start date let's assume december d2 stands for december 2nd and it is august uh, 10th a10 stands for august 10th if these are the start dates of these employees uh, these are the managers and these are the start dates of the employees if we shift that start date to this employee what happens is uh, there will be lots of lots of null values for this uh, for this column for example if you assume that there are 1000 employees and there are 10 departments for 10 departments there will be 10 managers so for only 10 managers for only 10 managers there will be data for this start date and for all the remaining 90 employees this space will be empty it is waste of space Okay. If it is a full participation, because this department is full participation, means everyone should participate, everyone should participate on this employee. If that is the case, then what happens? If we, if we shift it to this means, for example, if we shift it to this start date, if the start date has been shifted here means, so all these values are intact with each and every employee there will not be any extra spaces there will not be any extra spaces uh, which which is a waste of space so such kind of uh, wasting of spaces is not possible with this if we shift the start date to the full participating entity type full participating table so the best choice is to shift this start date to the department it is up to you you can shift it either to the employee or to the department but the best choice is to shift it to the full participating entity type okay so this is this is all about uh, uh, one to one relationships a uh, one to one relationship in our er diagram hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching